You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we're on the next installment of the Easy Bake Oven series. This is the first oven we started with. In the first video, you will see a link in the description and eventually a playlist of all the different Easy Bake Oven sets. Uh, but the first video we made popcorn kind of introduced this oven and what it was all about. And by the way, if you don't want to hear the rest of this story, I want to get right to the mixing or the baking or the eating. Look in the description. You will see some different timestamps there where you can skip to different sections. Because I want to talk a little bit more about the series. Um, every Saturday, we're going to bring out a new either using a recipe in an oven like this or going to the next oven. So after this oven is done, which I think after this video, we'll move to the next oven in the series, which I will show you later in the video. Now in regards to the recipes, a lot of people actually, I think the winner in the last video, because I asked everybody in the comments, was to use one of the original recipes from the booklet. So that's what we're going to do. Um, now some people said brownies, some people said cake and cookies. So I'm going to do the snow mounds, which is something that I've never seen before or tried, and then chocolate chip cookies. So the other two recipes will probably show up in the next video with the next Easy Bake Oven. So I have all these ingredients set aside. And again, if you want to skip at any point, go in the description. I have my tool set, and we're ready to go. So let me get in all the ingredients, and we'll get started. Okay, here we go. I am all set. Uh, all my ingredients are down lower here, but I wanted to show you this new Barbie Bake With Me timer. We're going to be using that for all the videos. It sets up to 20 minutes. Let's get it out of the box and check it out. But uh, we have this oven, uh, actually one of the first ovens we did, and then uh, we have another new Barbie oven, which we haven't shown you yet. So that's all part of the series. It's not just Easy Bake type ovens. We have probably another six or seven different ovens that are available out there. There's a Sears oven. Oh, here we go. So this is what the timer looks but looks like. We even have the Chuck E. Cheese oven, and uh, yes, quite a few different ovens. So every Saturday you're gonna see something new in this series. Right, let me get that out of the way. And the timer looks nice. Let me just test it now. It's been in the box. Uh, for a long time. Not sure the year on this, but let's turn it to five. We're a little past five. So we'll time that. I'm going to set that with my phone off to the side here. So I'm just setting up the clock on my phone. It's good to make sure your timers are on. So I'll set it to stopwatch start. And then we'll see when the bell goes off. I'm a little past five, so hopefully we're right on there. All right, enough talking. Let's get going, right? Let's go over all the ingredients for the recipe. And here it is again. And uh, we'll put that in the description for you if you want. It'll be there. So it says cream six teaspoons of shortening or soft butter with three teaspoons confectioner sugar. Okay. So here's our soft butter, and I'm going to try to use their tools as much as possible, the ones that come with it. Butter's pretty soft. And then uh, confectioner sugar, do three teaspoons. All right. There's one. Okay, Okay. so I have a little whisk that I'm going to use. Maybe I won't use my whisk. No, I'll use my whisk. I just, uh, maybe I'll incorporate a little bit with one of my spatulas. Hold on a second. Here, I'll use a wooden spoon. Maybe I thought the butter was going to be a little softer. Now remember, this is for kids, and you're not going to be using an electric mixer for this. So this is all by hand. That's better. Much better. 
you know, once you get the right tool, things go better. Let me do a little angle change there and get one of my another tool to clean this off. And scrape it all down. I think I might just use this tool now. Look at that. See? A third tool change. Now to me, I would say that's creamed. It's nice and mixed. Alright, so the next step. Let's see. Next step. It says... Blend in an eighth a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I have, uh, the vanilla I'm going to use is this pure vanilla flavor, alcohol free. And I have a quarter teaspoon, so I'm just going to do a little bit of that. Okay. Now it does say blend in, so after each little step I will mix it. And then a quarter cup of the flour. go I've got that in the back and the timer now says about two minutes and my phone says we've been going for three and a half so I think it's pretty accurate so quarter cup here let me get my little spatula seems to be a nice leveler right okay I'll just put in a little And it says a dash of salt. Now I have the salt in the back, so I'll just put in a dash. Oops. I'm excited to see what these taste like and how they turn out in this oven. Okay, we'll put the rest in. And then we'll get the little dash. This to me is a dash. More like a pinch, right? Okay, it's starting to look like a dough now. And then it says... Ooh, that scared me. So that was just about... See that? five minutes so we know the timer is okay in time wise so we're good there and we'll use that timer going forward that was our first test of the timer didn't want to use it the first time and realize that it was way off or you know wasn't keeping good time what other ovens do we have well we have a Sears oven we probably have six more easy bake ovens like I was saying, we also have the Chuck E. Cheese oven. We have another Kenner baking set, but uses real food. We even have the Easy Bake Real Food oven. And that one uses real food, like this one. Okay, looks like we have a nice dough here. All right, so add two tablespoons finely chopped walnuts. I need to do that. I gotta show you this thing I found at an estate sale. This was a buck. I got it for a dollar, it looked pretty neat. At first I was like, what does it do? Well, it's chopped. It's for chopping nuts, and it's two pieces because you flip it over, and you turn this, and there's a measure on the bottom, see? I need two tablespoons, it said. So now I could just chop, you get two tablespoons. Isn't that a neat invention? I thought it was cool, and I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. I figured, you know, I'd use it in a video, and here, the first video, I saw chopped nuts, walnuts, and I thought, really neat. Right there, done. Okay, so now I'm going to just pop the top off of this. 
instead of trying to pour it out. And now you can see, there's the nuts. All right, here we go. Two tablespoons. Ooh, that's a lot of nuts. You're nuts with all the nuts. All right, a little more mixing. Now these do get baked and then covered in the confectioner's sugar, so I can see them now having a nice buttery, walnutty taste with all the walnuts. I kind of just want to use my fingers now. I think that's pretty good. Nice even spread of walnuts in there. Okay, I think we're good. I think what I'm gonna do now is just clear up. Uh, we'll grease the pans and get started. Okay, the next step is greasing the pan, so I will do that now. I'm gonna use the butter. Now really you don't need the sides because these cookies just sit on the bottom. And yes, everything's been thoroughly cleaned and thoroughly washed. Okay. And the last one. All right. Let's set those back there. And then next it said, it makes 10 to 12 cookies. So I need to take the dough or the cookie batter and shape that into 10 to 12 balls. So I'm gonna assume now, I'm just gonna roughly get them going here. Based on the size, three, four, five, six, seven, close. Eight, nine. So now I know I could take just a tiny bit off of each one. That's about the size they're going to be. And from that now, I got one more. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then. 11, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. I had to double check my numbers. All right, so here it says, one inch balls, place three on a sheet. One. And then after that, flatten slightly, because you got to fit it through the oven. But I do need to reset some things here, get the camera reset. So once I get these done, I think I'm going to... It would be great to squeeze these last two somewhere, but I'm not going to push it. We'll do that. All right, we'll take this out of the way. So let me uh, get set for the next step. Okay, so I'm set to put the first tray in. Remember, this does not have a pusher like the Easy Bake Ovens that you see today. Each tray... Use, is used as the pusher. That's why they're designed this way. So this becomes the pusher. You know, Easy Bake Ovens today just have the round tray and then that plastic uh, tray pusher. I need to press these so they're below the edge. Almost forgot. So I could set the first one in now. And if you look on this oven, there's a lower section which doesn't fit. You have to go to this upper notch and then push it in. So now they are baking. So let me set my timer for ten, uh, five minutes, it said. Five minutes. Okay. And then I will just verify with a second timer. Stop. Reset. Start. And then how about I give you a shot inside. So let's take a look at them baking. Well, there you go. You can see two of the cookies in there. I just have to do a lot of different settings on my camera to get in there because it's very bright. 
and uh, you can see the cookie on the left and just one in the bottom right corner there and uh, not much to see at this point so the timer's going to go and uh, what I'll do is I'll just let it run not sure how much I'll keep in or edit out but we'll just uh, watch them bake All right, we're at about three minutes, and I have to say the smell in the room is nice. It smells like fresh-baked cookies, which is a good thing, right, because we are making cookies. Um, so I'm just going to let it go here, and we have a few minutes left, and then we'll push in the next pan. See, the next thing I do is I push the second pan in, which takes this pan now and puts it in the first cooling section, and then let the second one bake, then take the third pan and push that in so that's baking, and it's kind of like a little... Uh, mechanical system there and then by the time that third tray is out it's sitting on the outside and then we can check the cookies a little bit closer so it's pretty neat got about a minute left and then we'll push the next tray in all right there you go that was maybe 10 seconds for me to put my camera filter back on and reset it so here we go so the second one is going to go in so now that other one here i'll show you is now in the first drying or uh, what do I want to say cooling section all right so we'll we'll see that in another second here but from what I see here now they do look nice and brown so what I might do now is go to four minutes so I'm just going to uh, reset again show you the inside of the oven and set the timer for four minutes all right that is the second set in the oven now I'll probably show you about a minute here there's not much going on so there's not much to see uh, but then we'll reset up here and uh, we'll show you the ones that are cooled down and I'll push the next tray through. But I think you get a good idea what they look like inside the oven. So this will be the last time we do this part of it and uh, we'll just see what happens. All right, that batch is done, so let's get set to see what they look like cool down. I'm pretty excited about this, so uh, next you'll see me push in the third tray. All right, here we go. The third tray is ready. So what you're going to see now is this tray move to this section, which is the cooling section, and the tray that's in there now, which uh, the cookies were in there last, so they shouldn't be as brown. The first batch looked nice and brown. Let's take a closer look at those. And this to the touch now is a little warm. But it should be okay for me to work with. So I think uh, that's what I'll do. I think I'll get some powdered sugar here. I did set up a fourth tray with just the, the last two because I had another tray. So you could keep pushing trays through this oven, which is kind of nice. Let me, you have, uh, you can make a lot of cookies through this, obviously, right? So let me uh, get my timer going. Let me get my work surface here. And my powdered sugar, we'll let that do its thing in the back. I will grab this now. And set those down. Okay. And I need to get the powdered sugar. Okay. So it's just basically said, the last step. Uh, so bake five minutes, which we're doing. When cool, roll in confection of sugar makes 10 to 12 cookies. Well, here's the lid to my confectioner's sugar. Get one of my smaller. And we'll take a look. Ooh, nice and brown on the bottom. Those look good. Have you had snow mounds? Now that I see them, I kind of recognize them as a cookie I've had before, but never realized they were called snow mounds. Let's get a little more on here. That's the snow mound. Okay. And a little more. Now these I might have pressed just a little too much. I mean they not totally look like uh, round circles, but there you go. So that is the first set. Let me uh, 
wait for the next ones to come out, and as those come out, we'll push the next tray through. The timer just rang for that last batch, so I'm set to go to push in the fourth tray. Now, I did wash the other tray. These, by the way, I didn't push down as far. Actually, I just pushed down a little, because I think I have room. We'll see. Hopefully they won't hit. They do hit, so you do have to nudge them down just a little. Push this one through. So this one is cool, so I'm going to reset my timer again. Let's see. And I'm also double checking with my phone just to be safe, time-wise. And this batch was at about four minutes, so let me take it off here. The tray is really not even hot to the touch, so it does have a nice cool down time in there. And let's get these set now. Oh, I feel like a little cookie factory here just going. See the bottoms on these? A little bit lighter. Okay, that took a little less time for me. I seem to be better at that. Alright, so we're just going to keep going and keep checking back in as each batch is done. Till we get them all ready. And I'll just uh, get everything washed up. And then we'll start the next batch of cookies, but more cookies to make. All right, so the last batch is ready. So actually, there's no more baking after this. I can turn the oven off. I do need to push out the last tray, so I'm doing that now. You'll see one goes into this uh, cooling section, and then the other one is in this middle cooling section. So we'll uh, actually, I could just pull these off. See, it's not hot. I'll set them down here. I have all my cookies uh, set. So basically I can unplug this now, and uh, to get that last tray out, usually I just uh, you know push it through with my finger, and then it's not hot either because it's been cooling. We'll just let it cool there. And I can actually powder sugar these last three. They're nice and cool. And if they're too hot, then the powder sugar doesn't stay on. Kind of melts with it. But I think we're good to go on this batch of cookies. What do you think? They look great. I could probably uh, repowder sugar some of the other ones now. Let's see. Let's get a little more powder sugar on some of these. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Probably by the time I'm done with these, the other ones will be ready and cool, so they'll all be done. So what I'll do is, before I make my final presentation, which you know I like to do, set some things up and eat them. So I'll hold off on these, I'll move these to another tray, and I'll get started on the next cookie. Look at that. There we go. Happier with that now like the look of those. A little more aggressive with the powdered sugar, huh? All right, there you go. Oh, two more. I do have to wash all the pans and stuff. So I'll do that and come back and we'll do a second recipe with this oven. Kind of looking forward to the, the chocolate chip. I don't know why. Okay, there. Here we go. Let's get on to the next cookie. Here is the second recipe I promised you. It is the chocolate chip cookies. I have all the ingredients laid out here. Everything washed and ready. My other cookies are sitting on some nice little trays, and I can't wait to show you those at the end. So the first step, it said three, um, what did it say? Three teaspoons of sugar. So let's get the teaspoon and our sugar. I like this as my leveler. It seems to work pretty good. One, two, do you count out loud too when you're doing ingredients? I do. Three, and then cream, one and a half teaspoon shortening. I learned my lesson after the first time. Don't use the whisk. And the shortening I'm using is this one here. It's Spectrum Organic All Vegetable Shortening Non-Hydrogenated.
and that was one and a half teaspoons, so it's not a lot. Just got to get it worked in there. Let me do a little adjustment here. Now my oven is on, so I turn it back on. What I did was I washed all the pans, got all my stuff clean, get up, and then you know got the next set of ingredients. Then I turn the oven on. So it's been on basically right before I started this next uh, section of the video, because I figured this will take me ten minutes to mix it and get it all ready. Okay, there you go. Now this recipe has milk, which I don't normally see in chocolate chip cookies, but. That probably adds a certain moisture to it. There we go. It's getting there. So the next thing is blend in six teaspoons of flour. Ooh. Da -da -da -da. Hey, stop jumping out. Okay. I might do mix that a little bit more, but I'm going to get my flour in here. My teaspoon measure ready. There we go. So we'll start with number one. Here's what I'll do I'll just get it all in this bowl so I don't lose count. I don't want to put it in right away. One, two, three. Four, five, ah, I didn't say it, but that's six. So I'll just add a little bit at a time. Yeah, without that milk at the last step there, it's going to be dry. And the last of the flour. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of the baking powder. Get that ready. Okay. Eighth of a teaspoon. Now I only have the quarter, so I'm just going to do half of that. And then now some liquid, an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. So let me grab my vanilla. Okay. Got to have steady hands. There we go. And then the milk. I wonder if the milk is a replacement for basically the eggs. So you're not using eggs. So that's quite a bit now. Four teaspoons of milk. Let me do that next. Move that there. Get my teaspoon measure. One. I'll put two and then mix a little. Two. There you go. And then three and four. Oops. And the last thing is the chips. Ooh, that thickened up real nice. Now I'm using the Ghirardelli uh, 
Let's see, I'll show you the bag. 60% bittersweet chocolate chip, all natural. Let me mix this a little bit more. It's a little looser than I'm used to for a cookie dough. There's a little flower stuck in the bowl. Okay. Mix well, drop by half teaspoons on the well greased pans. Get the chips in there. Those are big chips. Now it does say allow room to spread, so these are going to spread quite a bit. Could be why the batter's so thin. Okay, I think we're good. Next now is to uh, actually get ready with the pants. So I'm going to clean up, get all my ingredients out of here, and go to the next step. Okay, I'm all set. I decided to add just a little bit more flour. I added two more uh, teaspoons, and that thickened it up really nice. Uh, so we're ready to go. You know, you just don't know with baking. Baking is very inconsistent. You could use the same ingredients every time, and sometimes they just... Things turn out a little different. Okay, so grease in the pans. And then it said half teaspoons. Now imagine that. That's a tiny, tiny cookie. So what I might do is experiment a little bit here because this is a half a teaspoon. I can't even get a chip in that. And then, what does it say? Leave room. It says, uh, drop by half teaspoons, well greased pan, allow the room to spread, bake five minutes, makes 12 to 15. Let me just scoop some out. I think I'll do it that way. Make sure I get some chips. Let me get another spoon in here. Well, so that's two. I can do eight right on these pans, so... I probably can make them a little bigger. Get a chip in that one. I'll do this while this is here. Let me get this one in the oven. Get this one started. And I add another chip to it. Then I can kind of gauge how these are going to bake out, right? This is total experimentation now. Okay, I think that's a good size cookie. So I will stick this one in. And then uh, we won't give you, I won't give you an inside oven view on this one. I want to get it started. And then uh, it said five minutes. Get my timer set. And I'll set my second timer just to be safe. But it's been pretty consistent, so. Okay, there we go. And let me keep going here. Back down here. I like to try a couple with walnuts. I like walnuts in my chocolate chip. Now, since I have that walnut system, now that one only had one chip. We'll see how that picks out. So now I think I'm going to crush up some walnuts. Remember that little tool I had? Oh, I can do it right in here. Look, there's a hole that's open there. It's like a walnut uh, shaker. A little bit more. that up a little bit. So now I have some walnut chocolate chips. i tell you what I think I'm going to do. I'll be a little daring on this next one. I'm going to make this one, but then in that other pan, I'm going to make one big one and see what happens. One bigger one. So that's two, four, six, seven. So yeah, I'd probably get the 10 like they said, or 12, if I made them just a tad smaller. So 
Let me, uh, well, I'll have to do another pan. So let me move this out of the way and get these set to go in the oven. I really don't know how they're going to spread. So now I want to look inside with you. So actually, I got to reset my camera again. So let me do that and uh, we'll take a look inside. All right, you could see uh, the cookie in there. It is about to go off. I cleaned up a few things, so I got set for the next step. It's baking really nice. As soon as that timer goes off, then I'll be here. I'll push the next tray through so you can see that step. Like it was before, it's just going to slide all the way through till we get to that third tray in there, and then we'll be able to look at the cookies on the end. So I'm just waiting for the timer to go off now. And I do smell chocolate chip cookies, and that's a good thing. Well, my timer has not gone off, so I'm a little leery of it now, but my other timer says it is time, so I'm pushing the next tray through, and that'll push that one tray out, and then the next set of cookies goes in. So I'm just going to let this go, uh, and they look pretty good, maybe a little darker, so maybe I'll adjust the time slightly. I could see it through the second drying space, so this time I will set my timer for... Let's see, I had an extra minute there. Four minutes, and then I'll check it instead of the five. So maybe I'll let this run a little bit. I know there's nothing to see, so uh, some will get edited out, some won't. All right, so we're at about 3 minutes 50 seconds, or thereabouts, so let me push in the next tray, but I'll adjust this a little bit so you can see that next positioning. Okay, so as you can see, this is the first batch of chocolate chips. I'm ready to push in the next batch, and that's going to slide in now and end up in this section, so we'll see how they look. Ooh, they don't look too bad. They look pretty good. A little dark on the bottom, but nice and light on the top, so... That is cool. Let us, uh, gonna let that go now, and then uh, I'll check back as I do each uh, batch, because I have this one giant one I think we all want to see. So it'll be another uh, four minutes for me, but for you, it'll just be a flash. All right, I am ready with the big cookie that's sitting out there. I can take this tray now. It is cooled down, and as you can see, they look pretty good on the bottom. Not too dark, but, you know, a little less time like we did on the next one. So let me push the next tray through. Now these, as you can tell, a little less time. And I can take them off. They're already cooled. So they're a little lighter on the bottom. I actually like the little darker one. So I might leave that next cookie in a little bit longer. So let me reset my timer. It didn't go off last time, but I'm going to go back to five minutes because the big one's in there next. And uh, we'll come back when it's all done. All right, I'm all set to slide the next tray through. I'm just going to put an empty tray in because the big cookie is on the back. So these will slide out. And this tray should be pretty cool. Yeah, not bad at all. And that is, uh, put those down there. Now let's see if I can just get that next big cookie into the cooling section so I can... Take a look at it now so I don't have to stop. Ooh, look at that. See, like I said, it hit the top, so it got a little scuffed. Let's see. Oh, it moves too. I wonder if I can get my little spatula. Let me grab that. All right. I should be able to just spatula this out. There you go. And let's move it down here where I have the other cookies awaiting. And then. The bottoms came out really nice. I'd like to have seen the brown, uh, the tops a little browner. Actually, the big one looks the best, I think. Had the most chips in it and walnuts. Well, there you go. Let me uh, put the oven away, get set up, and have a taste of both cookies now. Okay, I'm back. I kind of like setting up all the little presentations at the end. It's the probably the part I like the most. Even though I like baking everything, it's fun for me to 
find all the little pieces and sets we have. Had this little Cookie Monster cup and a matching blue plate, which I think I've used in other videos. And then these plates came from the box for that 1964 Easy Bake Oven. So let's stop talking and get to tasting. I'll probably should just try my big chocolate chip cookie, right? And then let's look at the bottom. Golden brown. And let me try one of these snow mounds and see what they taste like. I think I'll take the chocolate chip. Ooh, it barely fits in my cup. Mmm. I like the crispy brown. Good. I like it. Let me bite one of these. Nicely baked. The walnuts. I need to take a sip here. Ah. Wait. Cookie, what are you doing back there? You love cookies, I know. That's why I brought you in here. Alright, let me give you a cookie. Yeah, here, you can have that one. Here you go. Ready? Mm. Yes, I brought Cookie Monster in because he's going to be in a future video. We've already done a video of him, but now we found the box and the instructions. So I thought it'd be fun to have cookies with Cookie Monster, right? Let's bring him in here a little bit tighter. There you go. So which do I like better? I like the snow mounds the most. I think that is the cookie I like. I don't know, you get a lot, there was a lot of walnut in there, remember? What about you? Love cookie. Yes. Love nom, 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 nom. Thanks for cookie. There you go. Enjoy your cookie. I'm going to take another bite. I did promise you, and a sip, I would show you the next oven in the series. So let me move cookie out of the way. It's another big oven. This would be around 1969, coming into the 70s. So it's the newest style that they changed to. And we have the box and everything, so I'm just kind of showing you the oven itself. As you can see, it has a hood now, more dials. None of the dials work. The next oven in the series does have a working timer on it. This one doesn't, so nothing really opens. The knobs do turn, but they don't do anything. Oh, maybe that one does. That one opens. And look, there's little hot pads in there. Hmm, didn't know that. Haven't even really taken this one out of the box yet. Just today. Oh, those are the locks. I see now. And to see what's in it. But I know we have the uh, recipe booklet, the trays, and everything. So can't wait to get to that one. So what do you think so far now? You've uh, seen the earliest oven. And we're going to progress on the way through. And like I said, these are going to come out every... Saturday. So Saturday you should see a new Easy Bake Oven in the series or a similar kids oven that we have in our collection. Again, Cookie Monster. Yeah, yeah but your cookie. Whoa, hey, you got something stuck in there. See, the cookies are supposed to, ooh, that flew. The cookies are supposed to come out here, but I think he's got one stuck. And it's a game, and there's a couple settings on it. Yeah, here he goes. Watch, you got to get in his mouth. Like that. All right, so there you go. Thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. If you want to see me unbox this and use the popcorn popper that was available at the time, then look in the description for a playlist or search our channel. Bye, Cookie. I'm going to need one more of these. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.